Hey everyone, this is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 9.3 beta on your iOS device. Now if you're not sure if you should install the beta today or wait for the full version, there's a link in the description that shows you what the new features are and how they work with the iOS 9.3 beta. So check that out, it might help you decide. If you do want to install the beta today, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. First off, your device does not need to be jailbroken. This is a public beta from Apple and it's free. Another thing, make sure your device can be updated to iOS 9 for starters. If you can't update to iOS 9, you cannot update to iOS 9.3. And lastly, with betas, there's always chances anything can go wrong, so I highly recommend that you back up your device just in case and do this at your own risk. Anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my iPad mini, but if you have an iPhone or iPod Touch that's already updated to iOS 9, you should be able to get this iOS 9.3 beta update without a problem. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have enough space on our device. The beta update takes 1.7 gigabytes. So go into the settings application here. You want to go to the general tab and then you just want to scroll down to where it says storage and iCloud usage. Open that up and you'll see the available storage. If you have at least 1.7 gigabytes, I'd say to get at least two, maybe 2.5 just to be safe, you can move on with the update. So the first thing we want to do is open up Safari on our device and you want to go to the site beta.apple.com slash profile. I'll put that link in the description so you can just sort of click it and it'll take you to this page. From here you want to put in your Apple ID and your password and then click sign in. You'll be prompted with an agreement here. You can read through it if you like. I would suggest you do if you have any concerns. Tap accept when you're fine with it. From here what you want to do is read through this information, it's just basically telling you what you need to do and backing up your device. And you want to click on this link where it says enroll your iOS device or you can click up here where it says enroll your iOS device. From this page you want to read through it once again just to get all the information possible if you're worried especially. But what you want to do is find this tab where it says download profile and tap on that. And it'll basically open up the update for you and you'll see that this is verified. It's not a hack or a jailbreak or anything like that. You can read here for more details, which is basically telling you. I'll go through some of the new features as we do this. We'll tap install and it'll begin installing. If you have a password, enter that in now. Again, tap install up top. Tap install again. It's going to say restart required. Please restart your iPad to apply the changes. We'll go ahead and tap restart. Once your device has restarted, go ahead and open it back up. And what we're going to do next is open up our settings tab. We're going to go to the section general. You want to tap on software update. It's going to check for updates and we should see our 9.3 beta update appear. And then we can install it like we would any other install. So what we'll do first here, we'll tap on download and install. Put in your password once again. We'll agree to the terms, read them if you want. Tap agree again. And it'll begin requesting the update. Now this process may take a little while. As you can see, it says about 15 minutes. I've already got a minute going on my timer. So it might be a good idea to make sure you're plugged up to a charger. So just wait and let it do its thing and then follow along as I continue with the video. So the initial downloading phase took about 11 minutes and 40 seconds. Now you can see it's preparing the update. It's about halfway done. And we'll go ahead and tap install now. You can see it says iOS 9.3 public beta 1 will begin installing in 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm just going to let it do it itself. And there you go, verifying the update. And once again, just let it do its thing while it continues. It's going to restart maybe a few times. And I'll just show you the timer later on as it continues. So there it is, it took about 24 minutes, which is not too bad considering everything. Now this may take a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi connection. Mine is only 15 download, but it's very clean, like there's no breaks in the connection. So that's what you would expect with that kind of internet. Now just to show you, we'll open up our settings tab here again. Also look for some glitches here. We will go to the general tab, and then you wanna tap on software update and it should show you you're running iOS 9.3 and your software is up to date. So there you go, you've got iOS 9.3 beta on your iOS device. If you ran into any trouble or have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box and I'll do my best to help you out. And if you wanna check out the video that'll show you all the new features of iOS 9.3, that's in the description 
for you as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as it'll let you know when I post new videos. And as I said, I'll be posting full tutorials on the new features with iOS 9.3 in the very near future so you can see exactly how they work and get the most from them. Thanks again for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.